Hi there stampers, thanks for joining me today. We are going to be making this beautiful, elegant Christmas card using vellum cardstock and a little bit of embossing and you will just be absolutely wowed by this technique. Let's get started. Alright, we're going to start with an 8.5 by 11 sheet of Bravo Burgundy cardstock. We're going to take the paper cutter and cut it in half. I'm going to put this in to the four and a quarter mark. This is labeled really well on the paper cutter. Just slice those two. And then I'll take one of the halves as my card base and just fold it in half using a bone folder for a nice crisp fold. Put that aside. We'll be using the Christ is Born stamp set from Stampin' Up! and I'll be taking the large point setter to start and a Bravo Burgundy classic ink pad. We'll ink up our flower in the Bravo Burgundy and then stamp it in the top center. And I'll do this again twice and it's going to go off the edge on the left and right hand sides. Next I'm going to take a Versa marker pen and I'm going to color in the center dots of the poinsettia. Then I'll take some gold embossing powder and over my powder pile tray I'm going to pour that right over the poinsettias. Then we'll take the heat emboss tool and heat the center of the flowers. So our flowers are embossed in the center. Isn't that cool? The next step will be working with some Stampin' Up! Vellum cardstock. Vellum is a transparent, very elegant paper. It is going to be layered right on top of the poinsettias. And we'll stamp the Christ is Born stamp set with the psalm on the bottom center of the vellum in Versamark. We used the Versamark pen, now we're using the Versamark pad. I'm just going to ink that up, stamp it right where we want it. There you can see the Versamark. Bring our powder pal tray and our gold embossing back. Pour that right over the top of the vellum. Flick off any extras and oh, it's already cool and we haven't even heated it yet. I found when embossing, I prefer to work with the vellum cardstock as opposed to paper because it doesn't bend up and fold. We'll be heating this with the heat tool. Brilliant. This is going to layer right on top of our poinsettias. Now with vellum, it is transparent so you can see many adhesives behind it including snail. I am going to put the snail right at the top. I'll be hiding this with a ribbon in a second. So we'll line that up, place that down. This is the 5 8 inch Bravo Burgundy Ribbon. I'm going to cut a strip that's maybe 5 and a half inches, just long enough to cover the front, and a second that's 5 inches. Put a little snail on the back of the ribbon to attach it to the card, right over the snail that I put on the vellum, and these just tuck under the bottom. Next I'm going to slide this little 4 inch section and tie it real loose at first, so that there's enough of a gap to stick in a 4 inch section of gold cord. So it layers right on top and then we'll just trim off the edges using our craft and paper scissors. And this is our panel. You see how the vellum just layers right on top? Oh, it's just beautiful. Put a little snail on the back. This panel just layers on top of our Bravo Burgundy base. And that is all there is to this gorgeous, elegant Christmas card. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Join me again for some more great video tips.